Hi buddies, welcome back. It's been a while. We are back with a new phone with the Samsung Galaxy A15 and together we will go ahead, um, unbox it and then we'll set it up together. So this is what it looks like. We get the SIM card detector here in the box and then we'll have the phone and then also the manual here and we'll go ahead and now press the power on button here on the side keep pressing until we see the logo and then let go and then we'll set the phone up together so we get welcomed here and we can make emergency calls and set our vision settings we'll say start add sim to connect to mobile network We'll do that in a separate video. So we will select our region now, or our language, and we will say English next. For our review, check out the privacy policy to see how we manage your data. Then you can click on the privacy policy. It's underlined here. So you can read through more information and then you can say, I agree to the end user license agreement then you can also say to agree to the sending of diagnostic data this is optional so you don't have to click it you could say i agree to all this is also optional as you don't have to agree to the second part here but you need to agree to the end user license agreement to go ahead and set this phone up so i'll say i agree easy setup with another device assign in automatically and copy settings accounts and more from another phone or tablet give your other th phone or tablet nearby and unlocked so you can say to set it up from a galaxy or an android device or from an iphone and ipad we'll say set up manually as we don't have another device close by Choose Wi-Fi network. A network connection is needed to continue setup. Connect to Wi-Fi or insert a SIM card and use mobile data. So we'll set connect to our Wi-Fi now. Connect. And now we get to the next page. Service provider setup. Your phone needs to restart to set up features and services from your service provider. All right, we say restart. Now we can say copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, school account and more. Um, if you click on next, the phone will guide you through the next steps when you want to copy apps and data, but we can also say don't copy and then we will set up our phone manually and then we'll go ahead without any old data. Now we can sign into our Google account and we will do that. So I'll put in my email address and then the password. If you don't have a Google account yet, you can create one here. I'll go ahead and log in. Now we come to a new page, add phone number. If you like, you can add this phone's number to your account for use across Google services. So for example, our number will be used to receive video calls and messages, make Google services, including ads more relevant to us. Um, and you can say, yes, I'm in. You have more options here. And then when we go back, you can also say to skip this part and then we can probably set it up later. Now we come to the Google Terms of Service. So we publish the Google Terms of Service so that you know what to expect as you use our services. By clicking I agree, you agree to these terms. You're also agreeing to the Google Play Terms of Service to enable discovery and management of apps. And remember, the Google Privacy Policy describes how Google handles information generated as you use Google services. You can always visit your Google account to take a privacy checkup or to adjust your privacy controls. So if you click on these blue words here, so Google Terms of Service, Google Play Terms of Service and Privacy Policy, you can read through more information and then you don't have any other option than to say I agree or well, don't add this account now, but then you don't have your Google account added. So you want to say I agree. Google Services, tap to find out more about each service, such as how to turn it on or off later. Data will be used according to Google's Privacy Policy. So we have the use basic device backup. We can read through more information here. 
Then we have the use location. Uh, we can read through more information again, allow scanning and send usage and diagnostic data. Um, when you turn off the use location, the allow scanning will be turned off automatically. You can only turn it on or off manually if you have the use location on. Um, otherwise, you can read through more information here and then say accept. Well, now we can choose our search engine. The search engine that you choose will be set as default in a search box on your home screen and in Chrome. The app will be installed from Play. You can install other search apps and reconfigure your home screen and Chrome at any time. So we have a few ones to choose from and when we click on these little arrows, we have more information about each one. Ecosia, for example, plant trees as you search for free to 100 million trees planted already. So you can say to choose that and then we'll say next. Protect your phone, prevent others from using this phone without your permission by setting up a screen lock. We have a separate video for that. So we say we skip this one right now, skip. And now <clears throat> we come to our Google Assistant. Access your assistant with Hey Google. So we will skip this part right here. Um, then more to the assistant. And now it's getting our phone ready. Samsung account, you can sign into that uh, with your email or phone number, with Google account or with a QR code. Um, it seems tricky uh, when you want, don't want to do that because um, there is like no, no option. Um, but you have to click on the forgot password or don't have an account. And then you can say to set up later in settings and then skip. That's how you get around it. Um, or what well, else you can just create an account. Um, then we have Samsung services. Customization service gives you customized stickers, search results, routines, and more by allowing Samsung apps to share information with each other. This service requires the calendar, call logs, contacts, location, nearby devices, physical activity, SMS, and files and media permissions. Um, that's a lot they want access to, um, so you can turn that on or off and then you say agree. And now we can choose our display mode, so the dark mode or the light mode. I'll go with the light mode now, but if you find the dark mode better, then go ahead and choose that and then say next. Now we're all set up. We say finish and then of course we'll get to another slide to set up our phone further. Uh, discover and install great apps. You can say continue or say later here. We'll say later access app setup. Yes. seems like you can press yes because it's so gray. Um, but you can do that and then you will get to your home screen right away. And that is the initial setup of the Samsung Galaxy A15. Hope you liked it, hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.